Hey guys, today we have a mini designer haul. It's just three things, but trust me, the pieces are phenomenal. So we're starting with the Isabel Moran top. It has a little rubber elastic thing so that it doesn't slip. This is a bit of a bustier top. I love it, I think it's super flattering on me. I kind of forgot to zip it all the way up, so we're gonna ignore that. I believe the style of this top is called the Solizina, and the size I chose was a 34. This is what the tag looks like. And now we've got some more up-close shots. I love, love, love the little ruffle bottom. I think it's so chic, so elegant. I also like that it's not a solid gray color. It's got a little bit of a gradient. So I just discovered this designer, her name is Feng Cheng Wang. She is Chinese, graduated in 2015. She's very young and has emerged in the fashion world. She's so cool, so I had to get two pieces by her. The piece that I'm wearing is the blue cropped polo. I love the baby blue color, the buttons, the little cutout underneath the collar. It's perfect. And here's a closer look at the top. Look at how cool the designer's name engraved in those buttons. And now best for last, this is by the same designer as the previous one, Fen Cheng Wang, and these pants are so, so pretty, the perfect statement piece. There are some sheer panels and then a little cutout, so it shows my actual leg. I chose an extra small for reference. The fit is so perfect on me. I decided to style it for you guys. I'm wearing some pretty basic black slingbacks, a white button down underneath, and a black bustier top. So I styled these pants with this shirt that I got at a thrift store for four bucks. It is New York and Company. So pretty, I love it. It's a small. And then underneath I paired it with this Banana Republic button up, button down. Um, I also got this at the thrift store for, I think, $7. And a few more shots of these pants. I can't get enough of these. So I ditched the heels for some sneakers. I think they look pretty good with these too. Fancy to casual. Here's a closer look at them. So I wanted to show you the tag is... Oh, trying to figure out how to... It's like a little seatbelt, like those plain buckle seatbelt things, so cool. If I can get it back in, there we go. And this is the, oh, it's upside down, it's the tag. It is so messy in the background, excuse that, that does not exist. So that's the end of this video, I hope you liked it, and I will see you in the next one, bye.